here's another algebra review problem for my calculus class. When you're in calculus, you really need to work on your algebra skills because calculus is a new set of concepts in which you use algebra to get to the results. So the idea of solving a system is useful in calculus. So I'm going to use a substitution method. That means I'm going to take one of these and solve for one of the variables and substitute it into the other equation. So I'll take this first equation here and I'm going to solve for y. So y equals 3 minus x over 2. So I'm going to take this side and substitute it in for y here and for y here and continue to solve. So I have here 2 times x plus 3 minus x over 2 equals 1 minus 3 minus x over 2. If I keep going, I have 2x plus 2 times 3 minus x over 2 equals 1 minus 3 plus x over 2. Keep distributing 2x plus 6 minus x equals 1 minus 3 plus x over 2. I have a single x here plus 6 equals negative 2 plus x over 2. So I'm going to subtract x over 2 from both sides. So that's going to give me x over 2 over here. Subtract 6 from both sides equals negative 8. Multiply both sides by 2. I have x equals negative 16. Now x is negative 16, so if I want to find y, I can plug it back into the, this equation here. y equals 3 minus x over 2. So y is equal to 3 minus minus 16 over 2. 3 plus 8, which is 11. So I have a solution to my system as the x value is minus 16 and the y value 11. And you can always check it by just plugging it back into your calculator into here. So let's try that. It's always great to check. All right, so let's see if I can get this all on one screen. All right. So if I have x is equal to negative 16 and y is 11, I'll plug it into the first one. So 11 plus negative 16 divided by 2 should equal 3, and it does. Plug this into the second equation. So 2 times negative 16 plus 11, that gives me 10. And on the other side, I have 1 minus negative 11, and that gives me 12. Well, that's that's not good. Oh, it shouldn't be minus 11. It should be plus 11. Oh, so I should redo the last one. I should have 1 minus 11, which gives me negative 10. There you go. So it checks. All right. That's how you do substitution methods.